Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday morning to you. Uh, just wanted to try to get this done early. Uh, I do have another video I'll make today for the, the week five recap. I um, feel like I had another pretty good week. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, out of the, the mega boxes right now, um, it is what it is. I just, I didn't see any yesterday, and I just feel like ordering them at this point. I, I'm not a big fan of, of ordering things um, online. Uh, it just, it feels like there may be some manipulation to it. If it's a really high uh, demand product that I know I'm not gonna see in the stores, and the only chance I have to get it is online, I'll, I'll do that. Um, yeah, but just, sometimes the way the hobby is, is just, it's real sketchy. And I think some of you know that, you know, that we have people who, you know, search packs and weigh packs and, you know, do whatever they can just to kind of get an advantage. And I have never been a fan of that. Um, so, but, you know, end of the, the soapbox rant on that one. So here we go. I hope you all enjoy the uh, Gypsy Queen Blasters. First time opening Gypsy Queen this year. Um, generally, for some of these, I kind of open one or two and get a feel for it, and then just stash the rest. But I haven't opened any of this. Um, I've always really loved Gypsy Queen. You know, some people either love it or hate it. Um, to me, I like it far better than Alan and Ginter. Other than the Alan Ginter Chrome, I really like the look of that. Um, I really wish they would do uh, um, a Gypsy Queen. Chrome, not that they need any ideas. Um, I've also really loved the the Heritage Chrome um, and pulling those. I've always really loved the look of those. I, I wish they would honestly do like a full full set of the Heritage Chrome because they're such nice looking cards. Um, so let's see what we got in here. Um, you know these are have the one green per pack. Without further ado, all right. We have, it's hard to read these areas. Joe Ryan, Jorge Soler, Dansby Swanson. We have a green Lopez, a Kraus, and a Davey Garcia. Rolling around. Cooney Jr., Casey Mize, Colton Walker, Ben Intendi, a green, Fran Reyes, Jonathan India, and a Michael Conforto. We'll definitely have to go back through these just to notice if there's anything strange that I'm missing because I know they do have a ton of variations. Carlos Correa, Brian Mountcastle, Michael, uh, Will Smith, Mike Clevenger Green, Devin Williams, and JD Martinez. All right, Luke Williams, Sandy Alcantara, Brandon Nemo, and we have our GQ gem insert, Josh Donaldson. Gleyber Torres Green, Spencer Strider, and Corbin Burns. Final three. All right. Jacob DeGrom, Zach Grinke, Edward Faburum, Sonny Gray, Josiah Gray. Oh, look at this. We've got a Jake Gronenworth Auto. Pete Alonzo. Lopez, Ryan Hayes, Reyes again, Josiah Gray, Starling Marte Green, Howard, and a Frias rookie. All right, 
last pack. DJ LeMayhew, May, Kenta Maeda, Jock Peterson, Green, uh, Juan Makata, Alex Karloff, and a Josh Bell, who uh, will probably be dealt with here within the next day or two. Um, so that is it for the opening. Uh, we'll definitely take the, the Cronenworth Auto. Um, definitely not like a, a high dollar card, but it's always fun to get autos. Um, especially like these are, are hand signed. Uh, they're not sticker autos. I've never been a fan of sticker autos. Um, I, I get that the, the players can do it much faster. You can just send them a, you know, probably a hundred sheets of stickers that have a hundred stickers on a sheet, um, and just kind of whip through it. Um, but I've always really liked the, the thought of, you know, hard signed and, you know, in-person autos. That is it for today. I hope everyone enjoys the the rest of their weekend. Uh, weather's not too bad outside. A little warm. Um, dogs enjoyed it. So, that's all. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.